The first part of the recipe is to make the strawberry syrup. Prepare 60 grams of strawberries, 40 grams of sugar, and 2 tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Roughly chop the strawberries. I'm using a food processor, but you can also do this by hand. With the saucepan on medium heat, add the strawberries and sugar. Mix well and bring to a simmer. When the strawberry sauce boils, lower your heat to prevent burning, but keep the sauce simmering and reduce to thicken. Add your balsamic vinegar to balance the syrup with some acidity. When the sauce starts to thicken into a syrup consistency like this, insert a food thermometer to test the temperature. Your syrup is cooked when the temperature reaches between 220 to 225 Fahrenheit. Remove from the heat and set aside to cool. The second part of the recipe is to make the custard base for the ice cream. You'll need two large eggs, a quarter cup whole milk, 50 grams of mascarpone cheese, a quarter cup sugar, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. First, separate the eggs and reserve the yolks for the custard. Break the yolks and mix in the sugar. Initially, when the sugar is added, the mixture is very dry and thick. This is normal. Continue to incorporate and the mixture will loosen. Whip the egg yolks and sugar until you reach a pale ribbony consistency. Next, melt the mascarpone in a saucepan on medium heat. Add the milk to the pan and mix to combine with the mascarpone. Continue to stir the mixture as it heats up to prevent burning. Allow the mixture to come to a gentle boil, then remove from the heat. Slowly drizzle the hot milk mixture into the egg yolk base while whisking. Here, you want to whisk quickly to prevent the hot milk from scrambling the eggs. After all the milk has been mixed in, add the vanilla extract to the custard. At this point, pour the custard back in the saucepan and heat on medium-low. We want the heat to thicken the mixture, but we don't want it to boil. Continue to stir to prevent burning. Test the thickness by inserting a wooden spoon in the custard. The custard is ready if it coats the spoon easily. Remove the custard from heat and pour through a strainer. Cover the custard and let it cool to room temperature. The third part of the recipe is to prepare the whipped cream. Whisk heavy cream on high to foamy. Then add the sugar and vanilla extract and continue to whisk. When the cream has been whipped, you've completed all three components of the recipe, and it's time to assemble. Retrieve your custard and make sure it's completely cooled. Add half of the whipped cream to the custard and roughly combine. Then pour the custard mixture back into the remaining whipped cream. Gently combine with a whisk until the mixture is smooth. Be careful not to overmix as you want to maintain some air in the custard. Pour the mixture back in the bowl and place in freezer to cool. After about an hour, remove the custard from the freezer. 
It should have thickened up significantly and appear very viscous. Start constructing the ice cream with a layer of the custard on the bottom. Then add dollops of cooled strawberry syrup to the custard. Then cover the syrup up with another layer of the custard and repeat until you've used up all the custard in syrup. You can choose to swirl the syrup or leave it as is for freezing. Freeze for at least eight hours to harden. Then you're ready to scoop and enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.